皆さんどうも !Today we are going to a Japanese sake district in Kyoto! We are gonna travel to Kyoto and visit three amazing sake spots! So guys, let's get started! Hoshimi in Kyoto is so famous for Hoshimi Inari Shrine! But actually, the town is also known for Japanese sake because it has been blessed with tons of pure clean water. Hoshimi has traditionally been one of the most famous sake producing districts in Japan. Lots of delicious sakes have been created there, and that's why you can find many sake breweries in Hoshimi Sake District. So it has a unique historical townscape. Now I'm gonna make a sake tour, and first, let's go to this sake museum. Number one, Gekkekan Okura Sake Museum. Gekkekan is one of the most popular sake makers in Japan, and here in Fushimi Sake District, I recommend you visit this museum first, because here you can get to know about Fushimi and sake, and that will make your trip more fun. You can see what sake breweries are actually like, how sakes have been made from the past centuries, and so on. It's nice that they explain in English as well. By the way, the song you can hear in the museum is a sake song which has traditionally been sung when making sake. I feel the song kind of scary. What do you think? <laughs> Maybe this child will be on a sake test. The most awesome point about this museum is that they give you a sake cup as a souvenir. And also, you can try some sake stuff. This water is the one used when making sake. <laughs> it's just water but it's kind of smoother, I think. Here, from 10 different sakis, you can choose and taste three of them. My sister just now chose the one, flavored like melon. うん。美味しい。美味しい。<笑><笑><笑> だ。桃え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え
Max will enjoy drinking it more. Number two, Fushimi Sakagura Kozi. Fushimi Sakagura Kozi is a sake theme park. You can enjoy a bunch of attractive sakes here, and surprisingly, they can always offer more than 120 different kinds of sake. Wow! And if you like sake, there's a must try thing, which is tasting 18 different sake. Actually, they all are from different breweries. So, are you guys ready for drinking? Goodbye! Each sake has a unique flavor and it's so much fun to see, smell, and taste the difference. We even found the one that really looks and tastes like Karupisu Soda. Actually, Sakagura Koji is like a mini food court, and inside the shop, there are eight different restaurants. So you can enjoy your dream with some delicious Japanese food, which really go away with sake. is apparently drunk and kind of messed up, but he's super happy with eating awesome foods and drinking awesome sake. Number 3, Fushimi Jikokubune. Since we've got drunk, now let's take a break on this boat. The boat is called Jikokubune. Actually, the boats were made for sake, and so this is also a sake spot. I mean, Jikokubunes were actually used to carry the sake and some other stuff between Kyoto and Osaka in the Edo period.
本日は伏見観光協会10国目にご乗船いただきまして誠にありがとうございますしばらくの間ですが伏見水郷巡りをお楽しみください右手に黒い板塀と石垣が続いておりますが新京都百景第1号に選ばれた月景館株式会社の坂村です明治39年に建てたもので今年で116年経っております現在は月景館大倉記念館として皆様にご利用されておりますはい。Awesome sake! So, guys, how was the sake tour in Kyoto? I think Fushimi has a kind of cool, elegant townscape, and just walking around in the town is really fun. So, why don't you also visit? And if you drink some sake at Fushimi, you will get to like it. Or you will like it even more. I'm pretty sure. Now, this is the end of my video. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys had lots of fun. So, see you next time. Ja If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. In this channel, I'm gonna share some tips for you guys to live a holiday life in Japan, especially Tokyo, and I'll upload at least one video on weekends every two weeks. Hope to see you guys soon in the next video. Tell it up!